हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदा दीपाई हॉस्पिटल पी जी इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी डीलिंग विथ अ केस ऑफ ट्रोमेटिक कैट ट्रैक वेर द विट्रेस प्रोलैप्स एट द एंड ऑफ द सर्जरी सो दिस वॉज अ पोस्ट ट्रोमेटिक कैट ट्रैक विथ लेस दैन थ्री क्लॉक आवर्स ऑफ सब लक्सेशन एंड ऑन स्लिट लैम्प एग्जामिनेशन देर वॉज अ विट्रेस और एंट्री विट्रेस विच वॉज जस्ट देयर but not completely prolapse in the anterior chamber so as i started the surgery i placed hyaluronate which is combination of hyaluronate and chondroitin sulfate to plug this uh, area where there was a vitreous knuckle and then i started doing the fecal emulsification as i started doing capsule rexis you could see the stretch lines so the anterior capsule these folds indicate the zonular weakness in that area so i shifted to micro capsular axis forceps to complete the capsular axis because micro capsular axis gives a better hold and in cases of zonular weakness it will give you a better control over the flap near the area where zonules are good it is easier because the zonules provide a good counter traction but over the area where zonules are weak you always uh, need to be little more careful okay. after the hydro dissection i found that the nucleus prolapsed out a bit and this should be avoided uh, because sometimes uh, it might uh, be difficult to take it out and then the bag may be damaged though of course here the subluxation is in a very small area less than 3 clock now to support the area of subluxation i placed ctr ring and here i am going clockwise i generally go anti clockwise but here i decided to go clockwise i am using a same micro capsular axis forceps to push the ctr ring in the bag slowly from the main incision you can see how gradually i am dragging that uh, ctr in the bag and uh, as i insert most of it in the bag then i will go from the side incision using the same forceps uh, holding the ctr near the eyelet to push it completely in the back now where i release it that is the area of subluxation so i can go further ahead and then release it but as you can see in the area of subluxation both the eyelets are close together and they give us uh, quite enough support for the area of subluxation because of the good hydro dissection nucleus is rotating well i am using a lower bottle height and lower parameters for doing the feco this is fairly soft cat track so there is a difficulty in chopping so what i do is i do some mechanical chops and then trench and then take out one piece uh, using the vacuum out of the bag and being a soft cat track it's uh, usually very less feco energy is needed i am just uh, doing uh fake aspiration using minimal energy and vacuum and uh, the nuclear matter is taken care of this way now during this uh, particular procedure you have to make sure the bag is well supported by the ctr in case of more subluxation you can use capsular hooks now this is a ritual to put ovd and then taking out the feco probe to avoid vitreous prolapse because of the collapse of the anterior chamber and now for irrigation aspiration of the cortex see the tangential movement of my eye probe as compared to usual centripetal movement of the eye probe for removal of this cortex because it is entangled at some places around the ctr ring so if you pull it centripetally the ctr is not going to allow the movement of the cortex so in such cases you have to move it cent uh, not centripetally but tangentially and uh, look at this how i tangentially move it so the cortex basically moves over the ctr and comes out in certain areas if the anterior part of the cortex is cut in such cases you can catch hold of the posterior cortical plate like here as you can see the anterior part of the cortex was being tried first to remove it but if the anterior cortical part is partially cut like this there is a posterior cortical remaining then in such cases i will catch hold of the posterior cortical plate and uh, you can use lower vacuum to hold it like here and then pull it out so here the anterior part is 
of the cortex is cut so I am pulling out the posterior cortical plate same way here also I will try to remove the posterior cortical plate so these are some tricks while removing the cortex when the CTR is in place now as I uh, move further I will be injecting the eye well again whenever you are removing the probe it is better to inject OVD and then remove the probe to avoid vitreous prolapse the eye well is now in the anterior chamber and into the bag to avoid excessive pressure over the bag I use the bimanual method for the trailing haptic which went into sulcus so I just pushed it into the bag again here and now I will be removing, removing the OVD now once I remove the hyalocote from the anterior chamber also from the area which was uh, basically preventing that vitreous to come out now you can see once the visco is removed the fluid is now hydrating the vitreous which first pushed the anterior hyaloid back into the vitreous but because of the hydration now you can see it came out so this was being prevented by the hyalocote during the phacoemulsification but the moment i took it out you can see the anti-hyaloid or the vitreous knuckle just prolapsed out and went into the irrigation aspiration port stop the aspiration and press the reflux button at this point and then push the viscoelastic in the anterior chamber now the next uh, procedure is to remove this vitreous from the anterior chamber so it is important to delineate the vitreous using the triamcinolone you just little bit and you can dilute it you can see that vitreous started prolapsing further as I hydrated so uh, I'm going to use the anterior vitrectomy probe here using the 2500 cut rate and using 100 150 vacuum bottle height is set at 60 centimeters to avoid over hydration of the vitreous if the cut rate is good then uh, you do not always need to go through the pass planar route you you can do good anterior vitrectomy and clear the vitreous from the anterior chamber which is our main aim in this case so a good cutter and uh, cutting of the vitreous from the area of uh, zonal weakness is all that is necessary i am staining the chamber with the uh, time slone again to see if there is any residual you can see just a few fibers there which are remaining near the area of subluxation so i went in with the vitrectomy probe in that area and cut out the rest of the vitreous which was in the anterior chamber so that's the end of the vitrectomy i made sure that there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber pushed some pilocarpine in the chamber to constrict the pupil hydrated uh, all the incisions make sure that the anterior chamber is well maintained and there is no leakage from the wound i don't want post operative hypertony in this patient and that's the end of the surgery i have given intracameral vigamox which is moxifloxacin and patient did well post operatively so for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and do watch our videos on fecotraining.org.in thank you